Hey everyone, Ah, let's hear. Today's topic will be how to calculate damage, elemental damage, and how affinity works. Now let me tell you that if you believe in what the dummy tells you, your calculus are wrong. But also if you use the wiki, it seems to be wrong too. Because at first I thought about explaining all the math with the dummy, but the damn math made no sense, and the darn wiki neither at some point. Things escalated real quick, and after understanding infinite element analysis, here I am to explain it to you with a what? I tried to make it as simple as possible, so everybody can understand it. How to calculate damage? We are going to need weapon damage, sharpness, attack move, monster part, quest difficulty, and rage stat. So let's take this paladin lance as our first example. The weapon has 170 damage. Sharpness works in this way. The raw damage multiplier is right, but the elemental damage multiplier is wrong, and I'm going to explain later why. Depending on the color of the sharpness is the multiplier we are going to take. In this case, as it is green, we use 1.05. Now, let's take the part of the monster. In the physiology section, we have the different parts a monster has. Depending on the monster, the values will change. In this case, we are attacking a Tetralodon's head. It has a multiplier of 65, as we are using a blade weapon. If we were using a hammer, we take 70, or ammunition, 60. For now, let's leave the quest difficulty and rage stat, as well as elemental damage out of the equation. Let's assume they are 1. Now, how do we get the attack multiplier? In this case, our weapon deals 39 damage. So what we do is... Weapon damage, that is going to multiply sharpness, monster part, and attack move, that is going to give us the through damage. Which is going to be this. Now, two examples, high thrust 1 and high thrust 3. High thrust 1 has a multiplier of 0.336, and high thrust 3 has a multiplier of 0.4137. Let's put two more moves, spiral thrust and the follow up attack. Spiral Thrust has a multiplier of 0.767 and the follow-up 1.232. As another example, we can take this Diablo's Lance, which has 280 damage. Its sharpness is going to be in 1.2. Monster part, it's the same, 0.65. And the multiplier, we are going to use a Spiral Thrust, 0.767 in the first attack, and in the second it's going to be 1.232. I'm going to leave the math on the screen so you can check it. That is the basic idea of how to calculate every attack multiplier. Let's calculate elemental damage now. The elemental damage is going to need sharpness, monster part, quest difficulty, rage stat, and that is going to be a damage added to the true damage. Let's remember that the sharpness values are wrong. I'll add the right ones on screen, so you can take notes. Also, I am going to attack the dummy with the, all the sharpness value, so you can check how the math works. I am going to use a Rathalos Lance, which has 22 raw damage and 37 fire element. For what is sharpness, the math will be the following. Now, I just put the shorts for every sharpness level. Let's talk about why the dummy is giving you the wrong data. Every time you attack the dummy with elemental attacks, they will take the value of 0.2, regardless of the element. Let's take this Rajang Lance, which has 7 electric damage. The real math should be the following. However, 
we get this result instead. Now, let's add the real hunting values, because the training room gives us something different from reality. How did I test this? It was simple. I jumped into many, many high rank quests, attack the Tranadon's head, and repeat with another weapon, as you can see in this short. So now that we know how to calculate those damages, then we multiply them by 0.658, and that is going to be the real value you will deal on a hunt, that is the quest difficulty multiplier. On hunts the elemental multipliers are right, I tested them with every element I have on my lances. Last but not least, affinity. It is a multiplier of 1.25 or 0.75, if you use no skills to alter that core value, of course. So it is going to be like the critical hit and the anti-critical hit. Just for putting a name in the, out there. That affinity value only applies to the raw damage. Unless you use critical element skill, which is going to affect the element. So now you know how to really calculate damages on this convoluted mechanic of a game. I would have liked the dummy to represent how it really works in high rank, but oh well, it helps us to understand how it kinda works out there. Eh. Well, if you have any question, feel free to ask them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.